talk today about an a in-process walk-in rescue unit for Worcester, Mass. This is a career department in Massachusetts with serving just a little over 180,000 citizens. Uh, we'd like to walk around their truck a little bit. For this build, for the cab, they chose a Cyclone 2 three-door command capable cab with a 20-inch raised Vista for added headroom in the rear of the cab and as well, it also supports the walk-in feature into the body. Internally in the cab, uh, this department chose to utilize a heavy-duty, severe upper and lower dashboard. This features a lowered officer side dash for equipment mounting. Seating for this unit is from Bostrom. Uh, it features SCBA Secure All brackets in three of the five occupant positions. Taking a quick look through the street side compartments on this rig, uh, our dealership up in Massachusetts will be adding any of the uh, tray complements to go under this unit. So you have some really tall first compartments here. This first compartment has the generator controls and the gauges as well as the breaker box. Uh, VMUX electrical system. This is your access panel to, to, to get to all of the components for that. Um, the truck features two air reels which are compartment mounted as well as one cord reel. You can see they're very large, very deep compartments for rescue tools and uh, equipment to be added. Your over the wheel well compartment. And on to the rear compartment of the truck. We'll move on now inside the unit into the galley. You'll see this features a bench seating down the side here. There's space for four more belted operators to ride in the, in the body of this truck. Of course, you have some required escape hatches out the top. You have overhead compartmentation on both sides with cargo netting which can be unsnapped and pulled down. You have adjustable shelving inside with some Dura decking in here to uh, keep all of your equipment secure. As noted, the interior access, this one just so happens to be the over the wheel well compartment. You have an internal access from the crew compartment into this compartment down on the street side of the truck. And you also have access in this area in the front for all four forward compartments. Now this unit, where it's going in the station, it had a very low overall height requirement uh, in order to fit through this uh, through the bay doors at the station. So the interior height back here is 75 inches, and there's a lowered area in the front which is which is lowered down into the body to where we can mount the AC units where they don't affect overall height. It does make for a little bit of a lower walk through into the body, but it still enables a full walk-through ability, but still in a compact package that will fit inside the station. And of course, you can walk into the command area in the cab. So it's a uh, wide open walk-through rescue. Locking cabinets for the medicine cabinet and equipment. You can get a little bit of a better angle on them. And that pretty much wraps up a quick walk around to this unit. If you'd like to get more information, please contact your local E1 representative in your area uh, and let us find out some ways where we can help your community to better serve.